I wonder what I need to do with that now. Wonder what I did with it. Wonder why I don't need it anymore. All those answers are coming soon. And this is not an advertisement for the Home Depot. However, it is a gray bucket. Yeah, that's the hole to the icky town. Icky bowl, icky tank. Toilet's gone. One step closer. Now to get this thing all sealed up to get the ickies and keep the ickies away because we don't want any more ickies. So after watching so, so many videos on how to make a composting toilet, I came up with a box with a toilet seat and a bucket and a urine diverter. And oh my gosh, my head was going to explode. So it's out with the old and in with the new. Good morning, everyone. So in the ongoing saga of the toilet and where do you use the toilet, I got something in the mail. We're gonna see what, the, what you think. Maybe this will be the next solution. I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out. Well, it is definitely a big box. I wonder what it could be. Hmm. It's got that label on it that we all know and some of us love. Gotta love it when they do this. A box in a box. I know it's extra protection, but a box in a box. With padding. So still, anybody got any ideas what this is going to be? I don't know. <gasps> well, there you have it. It is a temporary cassette Thetford toilet. And I think this is going to work for me until I can get my composting set up that I want. And I've been trying this now for about a month and I've used a couple different setups so um we're gonna try this this will get me at least probably to quartzite and then I can get some like actual eyes on some people's units that they're using right now and go from there putting the box it looks like it's wrapped in a bag and then it is sealed uh, fortunately I don't have a tripod and I'm doing this myself can't really set this up and then just kind of take pictures, take video. So I'm going to pull this out and then I'm going to see what we got. So I did figure a few things out. I had to do it with the phone down because I can't, I can't do it with one hand. But the little green there, that's your level indicator. If you pull this out and it has a good seal, but if you pull that out, happens in here is it opens up a little window and then there it is closed this is if you want to add water and you can pump that in there this over here is where I add my fresh water Pretty nice low profile. There is my hair falling out. Get that off of there. And then the release is right here. So you just click that and it 
pops up and again I'm trying to do it with one hand. <laughs> Remove that, that's your seat. That's sealed because I closed that. So that's sealed. You have a handle here. So you just basically can carry it off to go dump it. And then to dump it, that swivels out. Oh, gotta love the one-handed thing here. And then this unscrews, and then this swivels all the way out. So then you can just dump it in the toilet and flush. Or, you know, any kind of dump place you can do it. So, looks pretty, pretty simple. Just carry it with you. I probably would put it in a bag. I don't think I want it to look that obvious of what I'm dumping, but that is what the next trial is going to be. What you think? I think this is going to work until I get to my composting dream. Let me know in the comments. We'll see where we go from here. Thanks again for watching. If you got something out of this and you'd like to see more, please make sure you've hit that notification bell. Because, you know, that's all important if you want to see me in my videos. If you don't want to see me, I guess that's different. Alright, so this is the cassette toilet that I purchased. Um, some of the great things about its placement in this bathroom is, you see that water faucet right there? That actually leads to my shower head. And if I take the shower head off, um, I can easily fill the water inlet right here. So it's very convenient, super convenient. Um, let's see, what else is another good thing? Um, this is how you put water in there. You just do that and you pump and it fills water. There you go. So I just put water in there. Let me show you again. I do need to get a new hose because it's kind of stiff there, but so you can see there's the water. Water goes into the tank, just like a normal, you know, RV toilet where you would do that. Um, let's see. To flush it, let's come down here. We'll get a little. So to flush it, you pull the lever right here and that opens the valve and closes it. It's got like a little level indicator. And so I just shook it and you could see like the level indicator was going up and down. Um, I keep a bottle of water here. It is just vinegar, water, and peppermint oil. And I use that to kind of spray down the toilet. Let's see, what else is good? So a lesson I did learn was that when you go to pull that lever to flush that toilet, you better make sure you close the top of the toilet because there can be some splash back and it may not be pleasant. So yeah, but other than that, it's been great. Um, I can now dump this at any toilet. I can also dump it in my black tank hole, which is right below the toilet if I actually want to. All I'd have to do is unscrew it and I could dump it right there. Very quick and easy. So, so far, 24 hours of use and I would rate this at about an eight. It would be higher except for the splashback incident. So I hope you enjoy this. As always, if you've gotten some something out of this video, please subscribe, click that notification bell. Um, check us, check out more videos because I'll be here. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. So there you go. That's the bathroom journey that I have went through from a normal toilet to a composting toilet with a bucket and a urine diverter to a cassette toilet to, ah, so far so good. Finally right With you and I the few